welcome thank you for visiting with me today uh, today's video we're going to talk about the jacket that I'm wearing and the pattern that goes with it thank you for joining uh, bandit sunset crafts living and please like and subscribe to see more of my videos and I must admit this is one of my favorite projects I have a lot of favorite projects. Probably anything I knit is my favorite project of the time. But this one is a nice, cozy little vest jacket. I've made it twice. One in white and one in black. And I've also thought about making one of these out of the pipsqueak grape to have this light purple one as well. And I think I have enough balls of yarn for that. Um, so... This one, the white one, is made out of Pipsqueak, Burnett Pipsqueak Whitey Whitey, and I wear it quite a bit, and it's still pretty clean. Even though it's nice, fabulous, bright, bright white, I've been able to keep it pretty nice and clean. Um, and it's a really warm, cozy jacket. It is actually comes from a pattern book. Sorry, I have to read it because it's not something that would jump out of the tongue normally. It's a Barocco Voyage, Barocco Nanic, number 314 pattern book. And the pattern is called Latte, L-A-T-T-E. And the original pattern is made out of Barocco Nanic. It requires nine to 12 balls, just in, depending on your size. It's 67% wool and 33% nylon, which there's a reason that I didn't use this yarn is because I do not do well with wool, so I wouldn't be able to use a wool blend, but it looks very similar to um, this jacket in its weight. I'll hold this jacket up, but this one's out of Yarn B. See, it's this nice fluffy texture. But it's a lighter weight as well. Both of those would be a weight four. Um, the black one is made out of yarn B, lush and loft yarn, which is kind of a terry cloth feeling yarn. And I wanted a black one after I knitted my white one. Um, that yarn cost $5.49 a ball. It is a nylon, 100% nylon. It's a number four weight and it's 142 yards per ball. And I think I used three for a medium. And this one's a medium. And then I made this one a large and it was bigger. So I thought I could just go down a size and it'd be fine. I wish I'd made a large in the other one because Pipsqueak is a bulky weight yarn. Whereas this, so this is a number five weight yarn, whereas the um, yarn B is a number four weight yarn. So even though I use the same needles, there's a little bit of difference in the measurements of the garment. It still looks really good and really comfortable. So that it's something I still wear. Um, but you can tell when I wear it, you'll see the difference. There is quite a bit of difference. It's a little lighter. Um, the pipsqueak one i think it took i had one eight and a half ounce ball and two smaller three and a half ounce balls so it took about 14 ounces total or 15 ounces total to make the whole vest um the thicker yarn doesn't go as far so you need a little bit more of it that's just the nature of having a higher weight yarn. 
because it only took three of the yarn B. Um, and the Pipsqueak is also 100% polyester, so it definitely has a different um, feel to it. The nylon's lighter, drapier, and it also stretches more. Has more of a stretch and a bounce to it, and it does feel a little different. The Pipsqueak is a heavier, thicker jacket. It rolls up really, really well on the side, so it makes that nice um, rolled edge. But it's thicker and heavier, so it doesn't float as well. But it is, it does drape beautifully as well. So the drape, the comfort, doesn't matter which one you use. But you do have to pay attention because if you're using a four weight yarn versus a five weight yarn, it'll change the length and the size of the garment by just a hair. Um, it's knitted stocking net on ten and a half needles and I did the same for both. And so here I'll show you how it's knitted. So the jacket goes this way and it drapes, which is hard to tell when I'm holding it up. But you actually knit it from side to side. And then you make the armholes and then you knit the middle and then you knit the other, make the second armhole and knit the opposite side. So it was a really nice, easy construction. And so I'm gonna stand up and you'll be able to see the full look. This is the whitey whitey one and pipsqueak. And see here's a close up of the texture of the yarn. And you can see the thickness as well. And so help me, here's the front. Turn to the side. And that's an asymmetrical. Here's the back. And then the other side, and then the front. Here's the white one, and I'll switch to the black one for you so we can show you the difference between the both garments. This is the exact same pattern. And I will add a link to the pattern in the comment section below so that you can go check out the pattern yourself. So as you can tell, there's not as much of a roll in the front for the edging. So it doesn't have as much garment in the front. And this is, I made it a medium versus the large of the other one. So there is the front. Here's the, can you see it? Texture. I don't know if you can see any texture. There you go, now you can see the texture. And I have dogs that jump on, on me, so they've caught this one a little bit. And so here's the drape from the front. Has a slight little curve, rolled edge to it. It's much lighter weight, because as you could tell, if I hold it up like that, you can see that there's a dramatically different. Let me hold them up together and I'll show you. You can tell the edge difference with them both together. See? It's much lighter which it makes it much drapier. I do wish that I'd made a large in it, but it's much lighter weight, much cooler. It does stretch out a little more on the bottom. And here's the back. And then the opposite side. But this is, they're both very comfortable. Um, I wear them both quite a bit. 
the whitey white one, the thicker one, I wear when it's really cold. I love layering it with an outfit. And then I wear this one more in fall and early spring where it's still cold, but you want a little extra. And it's very comfortable and soft. But both of them make a soft, cozy fabric. They make a wonderful vest. It's very easy to knit. It's a very easy pattern. And I would suggest this pattern to anyone. I purchased the entire booklet um, when I was on a yarn crawl and I think I paid seven or eight dollars for it. And I will find that out, in, that information as well and I'll post a link to the entire pattern in case you're able to buy it. But it is part of the oops, Broco Voyage Broco Nano yeah, uh, pattern book number 314. And there are a lot of other lovely patterns in it as well. They have a lot of several cardigans and jackets. They also have some cowls, but they, and they have really beautiful fabrics on both yarns. And I absolutely love the pattern book. And this pattern I've made several of, and I would, I would definitely make some more. I enjoy that. It's a great pattern, a great vest. And I hope you like it as well. And I will make sure that you have the picture of the pattern and what it looks like in the Nanith yarn, which is very similar to the black one that I'm wearing now. Um, it has similar drape, but you can also, if you would want to use that yarn, go right ahead. But I found several terry cloth yarns that I already had on my stash that I could use, and I came up with very beautiful projects, even using different yarns. And I, one of mine is Bernat Pipsqueak, and the other yarn is Yarn B Lush Loft Yarn in a nylon terry cloth. And both are amazing soft, and I think you couldn't go wrong with either one, or you can use the Barocco Nanook as well. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.